Okay, the new my dudes. Hey guys, it's Dave here. Welcome back to the channel, guys, and hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to this episode of Abyss of the Sacrifice. I will also leave a link or card to the previous episode up above if you need to catch up, guys, with this, that last episode and the series. Um, you'll find via that link all the other episodes for Abyss of the Sacrifice on the channel. We are on the route to getting Chloe's final chapter her true end based on her route alone in this episode guys so uh last episode we played olga's final uh part of the chapter so with olga uh, it ended up with her and chloe being the last ones alive where we went to an old disused abandoned area that apparently was uh, maybe where project icon was but chloe was lying she didn't know a project icon was the original icon was but they went into an old disused area industrial area to break through a door and um, they ended up in an old biochemical research lab where they encountered our friend the xenomorph from alien <laughs> i mean I, I i'll put i'll put a picture up on the screen at this point uh, on the, the video at this point i mean compare that creature with the xenomorph it's freaking alien chloe was defeated by olga olga shot chloe to kill her because um she found out that eat uh, was killed by chloe and that possibly uh chloe was trying to find out information about the past um and see the secrets of the administration bureau using her father's id and also this was painting her father in a bit more of a bad light but um Olga also felt a bit of lack of confidence due to the fact she couldn't save Arsena from the previous episode and then called her father a hypocrite with his old motto of a, it's a doctor's duty to save some attempt to save anyone's life if necessary and she said she changed her mind based on everything that had happened in the last episode. Um, so we defeated one alien. Uh, Olga then realized that Chloe was just uh, going to her own selfish goals of trying to find the markers and believed that Chloe wanted all of them out of the way that she'd killed. So she caused Mickey, like she basically said that if Mickey hadn't shot Arsena, Chloe would have killed Arsena beforehand. And then Mickey died uh, in weird circumstances with Chloe being with her. So she accused Chloe of killing Mickey as well. But that uh, doesn't appear to be the case from what we know. Mickey sacrificed, like died trying to save Arsena's life because she felt regret for shooting her in the first place. Olga killed Chloe via shooting her with the gun she got from Mickey. And then uh, Olga was faced with a very bad scenario of that gunshot that killed Chloe. Uh, then alerted all the remaining alien creatures that were in the old biochemical research area so although they killed one alien creature about 30 of them then surrounded Olga and she may have gone down fighting but there was no chance she had enough bullets to take out all of them so most likely we didn't get it confirmed but most likely Olga was killed as well so they all died uh, we're doing Chloe's final chapter of eternity on her path uh, to get to this path uh, you had to do uh, just checking the guide. So you had to do Bad Omen, which doesn't result in anyone dying. Then Wings, which again doesn't result in anyone dying. Sacrifice, which causes Asuna to be shot by uh, Miki. So Asuna dies at, died at that point. And then we had, uh, revela had to do Revelation. So that quote, meant Chloe killed Itka via using the um, hacking system, like going into the system and hacking and allow and just sending her to die by not protecting her. So Itka died that way. So in this scenario, uh, let me let me just double check that. So you had to play. So you had to go back to Contagion and then Bad Omen. Ah, Bad Omen. Um, based on that scenario, uh, let, me, let me think. So you play Contagion, and then you play Bad Omen, so that results in Olga's death via the cold sleep machine. So Olga died then, then in Wings, no one died. Sacrifice Asuna died, and Revelation Itka died. So the only characters left uh, on this playthrough, as you can see on the screen, are Mickey and Chloe. So it's pretty much the same as uh, Mickey's final end. It was only Mickey and Chloe alive then, so it's kind of fitting that they're both together in the end on Chloe's final chapter but obviously this time it's going to go Chloe's way so I'm guessing Mickey won't survive the end of this chapter but the question is will Chloe what happens at the end of her path so that's about it let's do it let's find out what happens with Chloe and eternity so here we go um 
Just also thinking, so Arsena's chapter was called Loop and it ended her being stuck in an infinite time loop of repeating the same incidents and that was really messed up. Eternity kind of has that same vibe. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's find out. Here we go, Chloe and Eternity. Let's go. All right. Eternity. <laughs> Okay, so she's re she's she's reviewing what she knows so far and what she can do based on who's still alive. So she knows that she, she previously saw Miki in the graveyard standing with what appeared to be black wings uh, but uh, attached to Miki. So she believes that Miki is the angel with the black wings because we're looking from Chloe's perspective, she definitely believes in her being uh, the one, the sole pre- uh, the the priest, she believes she's the priest that will lead the, the soul person that has to go through the gate to lead to the surface world will be the angel with the black wings. So she's the one that has to guide the angel with the black wings through to the door that leads to the surface. That's what she believes from the, the religious type preaching from the organization. So that's what she believes and she's she she know she believes that she definitely saw Mickey having black wings, but it appears from what we learned in the context that Mickey was just standing near an, an angelic statue and perhaps Chloe's eyes were playing tricks on her. But we we're playing it through that way, so I know what I saw at the graveyard. At least that's what you think you saw or believe you saw, but maybe, maybe she does have hidden wings. <laughs> Hmm, could be, could be. Exactly. But even so, Chloe was positive of what she'd seen. Yep, yeah, she's 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 ignoring her ju her judgment and it's completely relying on her faith in the, the teachings of the organization. She believed the proof lay in the fact that she coincidentally saw it. Right when she begged the one with black wings for help. She that did happen, but I believe that's just pure coincidence. I mean Sorry for interrupting. Um I mean maybe, but uh in the last time you believed that Mickey shot you and you fell off the ladder. And Mickey was the sole one to reach the surface and maybe found orange. And uh, I'm guessing uh, at that point, Mickey was still feeling the revenge hate towards Orange. So if she, when she came across Orange, I guess she shot her. But I don't know. Uh, it, it was never revealed, really. Mm -hmm. All right. Chloe and Mickey walk together. Well, it makes sense. You two are the only ones left out of the group. Um, and I don't think we've been across this area either before. So Chloe and Mickey walk together. As always, Chloe was following the coordinates of the last marker, yep, so Chloe's still taking the, the route via the markers that Orange has left. We know they've been left by Orange, so maybe, maybe Chloe in her end will finally get to find Orange, maybe. Maybe, who knows, uh, and Mickey's just going along with it for now, but obviously Chloe is going to tr use Mickey to reach the surface world because she believes that's what's required. She had already figured it out. Orange had been leaving these markers, yep. She even knew Orange was leaving them so that Chloe would follow her, yep, she's doing it on purpose. The very thought of this was infuriating, yet she doesn't like being beaten by Orange, but she has to rely on her to reach the surface for now. She hated the fact that it was Orange who was leading her forward, yeah, she wants to do it on her own. And that she had no choice but to follow her. It's the only lead she's got. Yeah, but you've, sure, you've seen that via Itka's powers that these markers have been left through time and space and it's the, only, it's the only lead you've got just now to go on that you need to follow these markers. Damn it. Yeah, and what are you going to do when you do catch up to her? You don't want to lose to her. She's catch up to her already. And at this point, I don't think... Mi well, Mickey knows of Orange, but I don't believe she knows for certain that Chloe and Orange, aka first Chloe, know each other at this point, but I could be wrong about that. I'm trying to remember on Mickey's path. I don't think she learned about Orange and Chloe knowing each other until her final chapters, so maybe not, but we'll see. So they're nearing the coordinates. This time she had a hunch. 
She'd found the coordinates of the newest market inside a book, yes. Always in the medical books. Written in ink that was always still wet, so you're getting close. Orange only wrote that very recently. It had to have been written fairly recently. Not more than a few hours or even a few minutes earlier. So you're getting very close. Chloe felt that she was clearly getting close to Orange. She should only be a few coordinates away. I might catch up to her soon. The thought made her tremble with excitement. When you do, I'll give her a piece of my mind. Hmm. And at the moment, Mickey's alive, so Mickey has the gun, uh, but Chloe has the um, uh, medical scanner infected with the Furio virus. I'll let her know who the true Chloe is yet, so she's, she's not going to play second Chloe. She's going to make sure she is the true Chloe. But if that's the case, it means you need to take her out, doesn't it? I am the one who found the one with black wings, so I am the true Chloe. Well, technically, you both did believe that Mickey is maybe the one with the black wings. So actually, Orange found her first, but um, then gave up on her once she realized that possibly Mickey couldn't fly anymore due to her injuries. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, you're going really fast, Chloe, and Mickey's noticing this, but probably isn't completely suspicious about it just now. Mickey's panting made Chloe come to a halt. It seemed in a rush she had been going faster than she meant to. She smiled wryly. Yeah, you've got to be nice and onside with Mickey because you need to use her, don't you? A look of confusion crossed Mickey's face. Yeah, I was going to say, this is not like Chloe to be nice to the members of the group. It's because she needs you. Chloe seems nicer to me for some reason. Am I imagining things? No, you're right to be suspicious and questioning of that. Keeping her suspicions to herself, she just shook her head. Good point. Mm, but you won't slow down that much, I'd imagine. You're still, is, your impatience to catch up to Orange will beat you. There was cheerfulness in her voice, which is fake. Or maybe she's happy because she thinks she's reaching her goal. As she slowed down her pace. Yeah, that's a question you didn't want to come up. Are you in a rush? Chloe nodded. Oh, Chloe nodded sincerely. Okay. Well, surely she's going to ask you why. Oh, Mickey's suspicious. All right. It's a good point. At this point, Mickey didn't know about the, the uh, markers at all. It was only Olga that really caught onto the markers. Mickey finally voiced what had been on her mind for a long time. Yeah, Chloe always seems to know the way to go, and since she's the last leading character alive, it makes sense that Mickey's following her. Hmm. Chloe thought for a moment before answering honestly. Well, she's telling the truth. I have guys that I call markers. She pulled one out and showed it to Mickey. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Are you going to fill Mickey in on exactly what you're searching for? Well, apart from just more markers, your final goal? Mickey didn't show a single sign of reproach. Mm -hmm. That's the number one question that you want answered. Yeah, and at this point, I would imagine Mickey still believes the fur the surface world is a fantasy, not real. So. Hmm. She's playing it down. She's playing it cool. With that, Mickey fell silent. The surface. If we go there, will we find that woman? Oh yeah, and also obviously, Mickey. Mickey still hasn't cut on this route. Her feelings for revenge are still high, so uh, she's after. Um, orange and she ah uh, right so at this point in the story Mickey does know that Chloe and Orange are connected hmm. <laughs> she felt a deep longing hatred that was the only thing keeping her going yep she's always wanted the revenge but she was still unaware 
that it was precisely the same woman who was leading the two girls with the markers. Yep, if she finds that out, she is going to be even more determined to reach this destination, I guess. Meanwhile, Chloe was honestly shocked. Yes, yeah, yeah, because Mickey, uh, Chloe doesn't know about Mickey's past with Orange, but I guess it'll come to light eventually. Mm -hmm. The Mickey had taken the news of the markers so calmly. Yeah, I think she's poker face. Although Mickey was not one of many words, she was not without preferences. In fact, she was stubborn enough to want to pave her own path, yes. But if, it, if you, your path and her path reach the same goal, she's obviously going to be interested, and that's what she's thinking right now. It was unusual for her not to put up a fight against someone she didn't know deciding which way she would go. Mm, yes, true. Chloe thought she must have some sort of fervent goal. Yeah. You're both starting to suspect each other and get, coming to the right answers. As long as she could achieve that goal, it didn't matter how she got there. Yep. She was that strongly goal-oriented. Yeah, she, she always had the goal of kind of getting out of, the, out of this place, but it was more to explore the place at the same time to find her, her object of revenge, Orange. Chloe continued thinking to herself. Mickey was so attached to surviving in order to fill her goal, yes. She believes that she will achieve her goal one day as long as she is alive. That is correct. As long as she is alive. Uh-oh. Chloe's just thought of that. She might. She's thinking there is the possibility that she'll have to stop Mickey from being alive. If that's Mickey's wish, I want to grant it. Oh. Okay, so you want Mickey to live. But I guess that's because you believe she's the angel with the black wings to help you to get to the surface. I have to protect Mickey. The one with black wings who I've been yearning to meet. Chloe promised that to herself. Mm hmm. Mickey. Okay. After they had been walking for an indeterminate amount of time, Chloe suddenly spoke her companion's name. Uh huh. Okay, slightly open area over there. Okay. Interesting turn of events. We're gonna take a break. Take a breather. Take five, everyone. Alright. But the I'm suspicious though. Chloe's a kind of impatient. She'll wanna keep going. So this is a this is unusual. They sat down and shed their sparsely remaining food and water. Soon they felt exhaustion setting. Oh, are they going for a nap? Mm-hmm. Alright. Mm, I get the feeling Mickey, uh, Chloe is wanting them to go to sleep and then she'll wake up and explore herself. Mm, she wants to get time alone to sneak around. How about we get some sleep? Since this was a rare suggestion for Chloe, Mickey gave her a strange look. Yeah, this isn't like you. Already? I guess if they're tired, they're tired. How do you know that? For certain. Okay, there won't be another place to rest for a while. Hmm. Alright. Mickey nodded. Probably. Okay, cool. Alright, I don't tr I don't buy it. I don't buy it. You might sleep for a little bit, but I'd imagine you're going to wake up shortly after you believe Mickey's asleep. Okay, when Chloe lay down and turned her back, Mickey followed suit. Then a silence passed over the two. Before long, Mickey started to breathe peacefully, and this is when Chloe will make her move. Chloe listened closely for a while. Mickey was still in the light sleep. Yeah, you need to make sure she's definitely out cold first. Just a little longer, she waited. While pretending to sleep, she waited for Mickey's sleep to grow deeper. Once she verified Mickey was in a deep sleep, her eyes flew open. Yep, knew it. She wants to explore herself. It should be fine now. She quietly sat up. As she picked up her bag beside her, it made a small click. Uh-oh. But Mickey's breathing remained the same, deep and rhythmical. I still get the feeling, though, Mickey um, 
has sharp senses and she did try and join your terrorist group organization so maybe she got some tips about being aware of your surroundings from orange maybe chloe looked down at the sleeping girl nothing okay please lead me to the surface and uh, she's she's begging the angel with the black wings mickey to do that well we'll see with those words echoing in her head chloe left the area so she's leaving her alone for now okay so oh no right so i don't know what her plan is she may be Maybe she deliberately left them, led them off track from the marker just to keep Mickey out of harm's way. And maybe now she's going to the location she needs to go to. Maybe. But uh, as she walked, she stuck her hand into her bag. Uh-oh. Is she going for the scanner? Her fingertips grazed a hard, cool metallic object. The scanner. It was a small... <gasps> Chloe took the gun. Chloe took the gun from Mickey. Oh, she stole the gun. It was a small gun. I'll probably use this if I find that woman. So I guess, she, I, yeah, I'm as, unless, unless Chloe has been hiding a firearm the whole time, then she's taken Mickey's gun off her. This is it. Once she arrived at the indicated coordinates, yep, yeah, as I thought, she didn't quite lead Mickey all the way to the coordinates. Chloe stopped. Of course, orange leaves. The, of course, orange leaves the next or final marker in a pile of books in a library, and you have to find a single book. Of course, got to find a single book in this big old library. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I can see that every bookcase is marked with a Roman numeral. Quite a few books here. But, well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Uh, I can't do the door. Hmm. This book's in left off. Oh! Obtained a white book, and what is that? Obtained a note. Red book. Green book. Yellow book. And a blue book. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Green wall. Interesting. Around math and oh, did, when I look at the books, did it tell me anything? It's titled "The Old Man in the White." Wo Moby Dick. Yeah, Abraham and Moby Dick. I think that's what that one is. Okay, uh, the Red Book. It's titled "Unrequited Love." Um, I'm not sure. It's a reference to something, I guess. Uh, it's titled hum oh, Human Ecology, a science book. It's titled Linear, oh god, math. It's titled The Calculating Machine. Hmm, what's this note say? Place from shortest to tallest, left to right. She's testing you. There are variety of books about language here. Okay, language. Books here. Books here. You might not be overthinking it. All right, so. An immense amount of documents are kept here. in a variety of science and technology fields. So, science and technology, I think. No, that's human ecology. 
New algebra. Calculate machine. So is there two doors? There is, okay. Open the book. Oh, what in the hell? Uh, the current page number is displayed. It's your book about old computers, huh? A book about the history of computers. Okay, uh, ba 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 ba. Science and technology. Uh, four. Page four, I think. Book about the history of computers. Hmm. You have to go for it. Searching for clues. There's a mark hidden somewhere in this big library. You should have to find the clues first. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Book order memo. Seems to be displaying the order to put books in first. You'll have to find an empty bookshelf. Oh. Okay, so there's an empty bookshelf, apparently. Curious. Oh. Oh my god, there's a way to flip. For God's sake, I never noticed that. There's a way to flip. What's that? Pages one, pages one, nine, two. Ooh, page number. Right, I think we're getting some. The other side can be seen between the books. Um, right, pages one, nine, two is written. Uh, what section is this? Uh, pages, what section was that? I'm looking at page section three. Section three, what's linguistics? I don't think I have a book on linguistics. I don't think I have a book on linguistics unless it's like love language. Try it. No, it doesn't appear to be coming up with anything obvious. Hmm. hmm. There must be more. Must be more to it. So one nine two pages one nine two, and it's apparently there's a the other side can be seen between in the books. Maybe I need to check the other side. So that's in. So I need to flip round here and look in here, and then flip round this side. Uh, aha! Here we go. So. Oh shit! Whoop! I put the book there. Uh, wait. Um, yeah, I've not got an item. Books can be placed. Oh, so it's an empty shelf. So pages one, nine, two. Uh, a book, a book. What can I see? Books can be placed here. Books can be placed here. All right. Um, 
crap, which section am I in? Uh, fudge, which section? It, it was, it's this one. Sections, it's still linguistics. Maybe I have to... Right, so can I place more than one book? I can. Okay, so the note said... Place from shortest to tallest, left to right. Okay, so are the books of different sizes? They are. Okay, so green's got to go here for now. Uh, take blue away because it's pretty big. Oh, fudge. Right, so green here. Blue's near the end. Let's check the other sizes. What's red? Ooh, red's, I think red's even taller than blue. Uh, so we'll place red at the, this end. Uh, what's the size of Moby Dick? Pretty big. Uh, yellow? No, right, so yellow needs to go next. So yellow, then white. Then I think blue is smaller than the red one. Got it. Okay. No, 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 no. That's that's correct. That's correct according to the note. Uh, maybe go back here. The books on the other side can be seen. Pages one nine two is written. Place from shortest to tallest, left. Wait, hang on, read that again. Place from shortest to tallest, left to right. Shortest to tallest, left to right. I believe that's what I've done. Shortest to tallest, from the left to the right. No, I don't want to do that. I don't think so, anyway. Let me go check the other shelves, because now that I realize that I can now flip between shelves, maybe there's more to this than meets the eye. Oh, got something. What is that? There are numbers and letters inside. 528DER. Five, 528DER. Five, I'm going to make a note of that just in case it's not available as like a clue or something like that. 528DER. Okay, right. Still one more. Oh, wait. Why did that, that give me a new command? On to pages 192 Was that just for that book or the other book too? Nothing in this one. Okay, so the book that that was in was the book about the calculating machine. So, opening the designated book. So, it looks like a code designating a certain page in a certain book. So, you need to open the book and enter the page. Something seems to be in the shelf. Behind this book? Uh, 
Or does it just mean I need to go over that there? Right, I think that's maybe what it means. Uh, blue book, page 192 code. So the letters D, E, R seem familiar. Reading the whole thing from the right numbers included should reveal something. Reading the whole thing from the right numbers included should reveal something. Red. Oh my god, red 825, the red book. Red book, page 825. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Where were we? Here. Flip. No, wrong. Um, here. No. Fudge, I'm, I'm mixed up. Uh, I think it's around the other side. Here. And then flip, that's where it is, yep. So I want to go down this aisle to the right, yep. Spread book. Page. Eight, two, five. There. What does this diagram I mean? It looks like a clock. Yellow. Yellow book. Uh, two, 2.30? Yellow book 2.30. Yes. Narrow points from blue to yellow, so blue one three two to yellow two six four. Right. Uh, blue one three two. One three two. Green, an English word that means green. Uh, right. So then I need to go yellow 264. Um, 264. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? A six digit number is written. Uh, seven. Rick. Six digit number is written. Three, two, four, five, one, seven. Okay, so maybe try both those pages. But that's if I read it that way. Oh god. No way. No, the no, this the number's upside down, so I've got to go with green as the next clue, so I need to go green. Uh, green 752, I'm gonna write these down. So green 752 and 341. There must be something on one of the pages in the green book. Because uh, I don't think they were written in a different, in a specific color. Uh, so let's try three, four, one. Anything? Bingo! Blue shape is drawn here. Tend a note. Page has been torn. So it's referring back to the blue book, but I need to check 752. Interesting. Nothing. Nothing in that book on that page. What did that other note say? It can be found where A comes after G. Another riddle. Okay, uh, right, enough for that for now. Right, uh, blue, uh, seven, try page 752 in the blue book. Five, two. 
Mm, nothing. Hmm. Maybe I need to do something about this first. It could be found where A comes after G. A comes after G. G. A comes after G. So G A. Uh, G A. G A. Red. Blue. White. Yellow. Green. No. Green. No. Green. Is it to do with the le the number, the Roman, the Roman numerals? G comes after A. Or A comes after G. It's G A. Um, putting the blue and yellow codes together. Looking at the six digits of the yellow book face in the same direction as the words in the blue book. So, oh, fudge, uh, blue, blue book, that was red 528, blue and yellow codes together, look at the six digits of the yellow book facing the same direction as the words in the blue book. So, are you suggesting in the blue book was referring to the red? So maybe red, page 752, will tell me something? Uh, I don't think this is the right row. No, it's not the right row. Uh, I don't think it's the right side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here and round. There we go. So maybe in red, page 752. 752. Tell me something, please. No! <sighs> so... So, it's red 528. No, red 825, sorry. Red 6 digits of the yellow book facing the same direction as the words in the blue box in the blue book so it, it had three oh my f god i'm a moron seven five two three four one did i get something from page three four one in one of the books I can't remember. Let me just borrow the red book and look at if I looked at page 341. No. 341. Nothing here. Um what other book was it referring to? Red eight two five. Three two so th three two Wait numbers that are in reverse three two seven 
three, two, no, no, wait, the, the, the three's not in reverse, the two's not in reverse. Three, oh my god, three, four, three, four, one. Three, four, two, five, seven. Oh my god, two, five, seven. Red, 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 red. Uh, two, five, seven. No, nothing either. What the frick? Right, maybe I'll get somewhere if I try this. G becomes for the next code is hiding in the location. This riddle suggests think of some letter system where G comes before A. Sounds related to piano scales. I don't know nothing. Music. Music, music, music. There's an aisle on music. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There's an aisle on music. Arts, music. Uh, flip. Um, here? Oh, okay, so we're interested in these books, right? Black and white books. The way they're laid out is really unnatural. Okay. G... G comes before... A. What was what was it again? No, 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 no. Uh, hint. The next code is hiding in the location of the roosters. Think of some letter system where G... So G before A. Sounds related to piano scales. G before A. Yeah, okay, but... Black and white books. Well, I do have a white book. So white, black, white, black, what? Wait. White, black, white, black, white, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, white. Well, can I take? They appear to not be in the right order, so can I? She comes before A. Any more clues for me? No. For sake. So, white, black, white, black, white, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, white. If this is uh, some music knowledge, I don't have it. I just have to check the books. But some, this she says they look unnatural, so there must be, it must be gonna tell me something. Oh, oh, here we go. The book in between these two white ones. Ah, the other torn piece of paper. Okay, so we have some shapes. So there was a blue hexagon, a blue square, and a blue circle. Page 341. Ah. So a torn piece of paper looks like a book page. So that was page three for one. Uh, oh God, which book was that in? Um, uh, da, 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 da. No, uh, is the side, it's in here, around the side, here we go. Um, I don't think it was in the blue book. It was seven. Uh, oh 
God, which book was that in? Um, well, if it's three for one, it's three four. Page was three four zero. Let me just borrow the red book. Uh, no. I'll just check it, but I don't think this is the right book. No, it's not the right book. I doubt it's in here, but I'll just check anyway. But it might be because they're saying blue symbols. No, nothing. There's three, four ones in there. Uh... Actually, I think it's the... I got the fives. It might be the yellow book. Uh, so... Two, three, one, two, three, one. Oh, no. I actually no. Remember, the last clue was a blue... was green, sorry. So it's going to be in the green book, isn't it? Yeah. It's in the green book. Uh, right, so let's join the pages together, right? Yes. Let's do four, three, four, one. Blue shape is drawn here. So we've got a blue one, two, three, four. It's hexagon. Oh no, 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 put the book back. Uh, so we've got a blue hexagon. Combine. Yes, there we go. Mended the book. Now let's have a look at that page again. Fix the page. Okay, so it's telling me blue hexagon, blue trapezium, blue circle. Circle shapes. Shapes. Sciences, history, shapes will be most associated with mathematics, and I know there's a section on mathematics. Where's that section on math? Mathematics. Linguistics, mathematics. Can I not go in, I not go in there? Linguistics. Science is history. There are three blue polygons here. What polygons are they? Uh, a hexagon uh, circle and a... I want to say it's a trapezium. They're all related to math. Polygons, usually you think of math. Oh, well... Maybe it's to ah, uh, maybe it's to do with their sides. So it's definitely referencing the blue book. Six, five. Blue small circle. Six five one doesn't seem right, but I could just have a quick look. Six five one. Nah, nothing. Wait, polygons. Oh, this is very bad to map. So I think it's to do with the size of the shapes. So that's a hexagon. So that's six. Uh, the trapezium has four sides. I guess in terms of size, the circle is zero, and it's the blue. It's blue. So the Maybe spit maybe I was one off, maybe six four zero. Uh six four zero. Yes, I was one off. Next up is a hint, huh? Uh six four zero, same as the page number, VG 
VHSD. D VGHSD 640. VGHSD, is that like notes again? Or is it is it one of the books? VGHSD 640 VG Green White Blue Red No VGHSD VGHSD Doesn't immediately compute as anything I would think of but it's probably to do with a subject My arts feature. It could be more musical related stuff. Oh, this is hard. These puzzles are freaking hard. I'm gonna have to take another hint. I'm not sure. Uh, the blue book, page 640 code. Doesn't look like a word on the face of it. Remembering the alphabets. The alphabet song. Making the answer something one letter off is an oft used technique in codes. Making the answer something one letter off is an OFT used technique in codes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, G. So one letter off. So you're suggesting. Uh, so if it's one letter off, so that's V, T, U, or W, white, W, G, H, I. It's white. It's white 640. White 640. Uh. No, wrong side. Uh, yep. White, 640. 640. Go. No! Uh, let me see that again. So W H I S Q R S T D A E B C D E. It's white. Ah, uh, but what? Maybe it means the number as well. So, uh, is there a pattern? So T U dot S G. It, it's the. Uh, it's always the num. It's it's the. Um, the letter after it, so that would be seven uh, five one. Try page seven five one in the white book. Seven five, and I think that was a reference to one of the other clues. White seven five one. Yes. An, a novel. That's this book. Uh huh. Moby Dick, it cried black tears. <laughs> okay. When the old man stabbed the white whale with his harpoon, it cried black tears. Stab the white whale with the harpoon, it cried black tears. Do I need to look up the arts? Doesn't let me go there.
here comes after G that's still to do with the music notes and I don't think that's of any use to me now and the white whale cries when the white whale is stabbed with a harpoon it cries black tears there isn't a black book not that I know of wait the music books the music books um When the white... Yes, I think it must be something to do with these music books. When the white... When the old man stabs the white whale with black book, Carpoon cries black tears. Has to be something to do with these books. Doesn't look like there's anything else. There must be something else. <sighs> I don't like not being able to figure it out, but this is hard. Right, the old man and the white whale. So, what could this be suggesting? Come to think of it, something seems strange about the floor tiles in this library. So it's to do with the floor tiles now. When they step into the room, it looks like a whale's tail, but where would... You son of a bitch, really? Let's see. Uh, right, so let's go back to the front of the room. Uh, the whale, it looks like a whale. I need to turn around. So the white whale. White whale. I'm just trying to figure out the pattern. White whale. No, 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 no. That's it. Son of a bitch. Obtained an... I thought it must be something to do with this tiling here. So what is that? Uh, obtained a black... A black book. Um, right, what's this note say first? This one, I think. The tallest is to the left. Of uh, the shortest. The tallest is to the left of the shortest. So this book needs to go somewhere in the shelf, I think. Oh, God, no. Oh, this is going to hurt my brain. If shorter than the one to the right, also shorter than the one to the left. Yellow is more left than green, and blue is more right than green. Red and green are not in the middle. White does not stand, but opens the beginning. Yep. Okay, let's have a look at the... It's titled Blood and Revolution. Open the book. Um, geez, right, well, I need to go back to the books. Uh, here they are. Right. My brain. Uh, right, so the tallest is to the left of the shortest. How thin is this book? Uh, if shorter than the one to the right, also shorter than the one to the left. Yellow is more left than green. And blue is more right than green. 
Red and green are not in the middle. White does not stand, but all is the beginning. White does not stand. So I need to mess about with the order of the books. Um, I need to take the green one out. So, coin to that note, yellow needs to be on the left of green. I think. The tallest is to the left of the shortest. So it's also suggesting that well, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, just wait, 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 wait. How big is the black book? Ah, so the black's even bigger. Right. Okay. So. So the tallest is to the left of the shortest, and then I believe yellow has to go on the left of green. White does not stand, so white not might not appear on the right. The tallest is to the left of the shortest, correct? If shorter than the one, if shorter than the one to the right, also shorter than the one to the left. Yellow is more left than green, and blue is more right than green. Red and green are not in the middle. Oh, green not in the middle. Right. Let me read that. Re read it. Read it one more time. So the tallest is to the left of the shortest. So it doesn't necessarily mean black has to be right at the left, but it has to be left of the shortest book, which is green. If shorter than the one to the right also shorter than the one to the left so if it's sh so, so shorter than the one to the right also shorter than the one to the left right so wait 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 stop 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 stop, stop, stop. go away right so i think swap so put green next to the black and then yellow there. Read it one more time. So the tallest is to the left of the shortest, yes. So if that's shorter than the one to the right, yeah. So if shorter than the one to the right, also shorter than the one to the left. Yellow, I bet yellow's more left than green. And blue is more right than green. Red and green are not in the middle. White does not stand, but opens the beginning. Tallest is to the left of the shortest. Yes, it is. If it's shorter than the one to the right, if shorter, so I think this is referring to the green one. If shorter than the one to the right, yes. Uh, also shorter than the one to the left, yes. Yellow is more left than green, yes. And blue is more right than green, yes. Red and green are not in the middle, no. White does not stand, but opens the beginning. White does not stand, but almost the beginning. Page one of the white book? Holy f okay. Oh my god, what in the hell? 
Numbers and hours are drawn here. Oh, what in the actual f does this mean? <sighs> Where's all these numbers coming from? Oh my god, is this referring to each book? No. This is way too freaking complicated. You've got to be having a laugh. The symbols and numbers are colourful, so they probably have something to do with the book colours, yes. If you set up the books following the memo, try paying attention to the order of the books. Colours. That's that's my next question. Book order memo again. You'll have to arrange the books on an empty shelf again. The memo ends with white does not stand but almost a bit. Does that mean you should keep the white book in hand and open its first page? Yes. I just hope I've got it in the right order. So open to page one, so... I'm not exactly sure what this means. So A... Where do you begin? Numbers and hours are drawn here. Symbols and numbers are colorful, so they probably have something to do with the book colors. If you set all the books following the middle, try paying attention to the order of the book's colors. Yellow, red, black, green, blue. I'm just not sure if this bit's right, so I'm gonna try that. I think that still matches, because I'm not getting anywhere, so I think that matches. Let me think. So let's see if there's a path based on that order. So I'm assuming we prioritize it from, it's always talked about from left to right, so I'm assuming that's what we do here. So let's have a look into page one. Red, yellow. So think about it. So <sighs> based on the order, I guess we start from the outside. So red. So maybe nine, and then it was yellow. And then it was black. Three. Uh, green, blue. Nine, three, seven. Nine, three, s so red, yellow, black, green, blue. Red, yellow, black, green, blue. Right, okay, so I think I've got a num page number 937. Is it in the white book I looked that up? Uh, open the book. 937? Hmm. No, that's not, the, it's just not that book. Maybe try the red book, because it seems to be starting with the red book. Maybe maybe there's still more clues in each book and we have to work our way through the patterns or something. Uh, open the book for the red book, 937. Let's go. Oh, what's this? There are points and lines written here. 
points and lines. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Mm, can't be just. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. It can't just be five, five, six, can it? Any further clue relating to that? Red Book 937 code. It looks like there are faint remains of digital numbers behind the points and lines drawn in black ink. Wait. Faint remains of digital numbers behind the points and lines drawn in black ink? Really? Uh, in the book? 937. So where would you begin? From the top? Like a nine? So it's like... Ugh. So ink as well, so it's it's meaning these brown lines. So these digital numbers. So well, that looks as if it's zero. But the point. Oh, but the points. Ah, but that's marked with a. So if you're talking about the points, three, two maybe? That's, I, I had a feeling that's a nine. Three, two, nine. In the black book maybe? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, and we haven't looked at anything in the book, black book yet. Three, Two, nine. Oh, yes, 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 yes. T, oh, okay. Two thingies. There are coded clues above and below. TV, TV, TV. Television. Coded clues above and below, but so there's a circle in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Uh, VTTV. Uh, brain is mush. Brain is mush at this point. The Roman. Roman numerals. Roman numerals and mystery drawings look like they can be combined. Vertically. Roman numerals and mystery drawings look like they can be combined vertically. So five. And that's the reference to which bookshelf. So let me have a look at the Roman numerals. Uh, B six maybe? Bind them both together vertically. It'd be like 
uh, a five and two eyes. Five and two eyes, not three eyes. So that's uh, seven. Seven, five, six, seven. One of these shelves. What, the music book? It's not the music books again, surely. Combine them vertically. I'm thinking about this wrongly. I think. So if you combine them vertically, so you get TV. And T V. Wait, so if you combine the V that's upside down with the V that is facing the right way, you get an X. Oh, and then a T. And you get an I X is it's nine. Son of a bitch, wrong row. It's nine. Nine, 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 nine. Uh, I think. Is there, a, is there a row nine? There is up there. Row nine. Yes. And then it was one of the middle shelves. Oh, yes. Here we go. I think we got it. Okay. Uh, only this book. Oh, God. we did it. Yes, the fucking medical journal with the marker. A marker. She could smell the scent of fresh ink. Oh, good. So we're getting close. As she ran her fingers along the writing, it felt slightly damp. It clearly just been written. She's close. Yeah, here we go, Orange and Chloe. Oh, she's like she's literally here. Oh, Chloe's voice echoed in the dark space. Suddenly, she noticed a movement in the shadows. A human figure moved into the dim light. It's finally the showdown between the hackers. Priest. And they both have guns. Oh, that is not the gun that Mickey had. So Chloe has had a gun on her the whole time. Holy shit, and she's only bringing it out at this point. So she obviously went, wanted to use this gun against Orange. In a second, Chloe flung out her arm straight toward Orange. The gun was in her hand. I think you two should talk first before you start shooting. Or maybe they will. Just go for it. So anyway, we started blasting. <laughs> she aimed it directly at Orange, and she's doing the same, I guess. Orange did the same exact thing. Without a sound, she aimed the gun at Chloe's heart. Ooh. As the two women stood in the same position, they looked like a mirror reflection. The two Chloes faced off. Now, who's the true Chloe? At first, neither of them said a single word. Orange was the first to break the silence. I suppose, apart from Chloe, our Chloe, that Chloe the second believes she's the true Chloe. <laughs> yeah, if she doesn't take you out, then she feels as if she's done nothing her whole life, and she feels as if you'll beat her. She wants to beat you. I know about that. Chloe smiled brutally. Stop treating me like a child. You haven't known me since the day you faked your death. Yeah, that's true. I am now the chosen one and the true Chloe. She really believes that. I, priest, have surpassed you, Orange, and you have completely failed. As she whispered those words inside her mind, she brimmed with confidence. Mm. Who's going to shoot first? That is why she was able to act calmer in front of Orange than she even expected herself. Orange. 
Yes, that would be a very good question to ask at this point, I suppose, but she probably... Ah, sorry, just an itch there. She's probably already tried to explain this to you. Okay. Yeah, Orange wants to have a civilized conversation. So, how have you been? What have you been up to? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Are we going to get the backstory? Hmm. No. Orange doesn't usually do things without a reason, so I'm guessing she'll tell you, maybe. Orange let out a small sigh. At this moment, she clearly let her guard down. Uh oh. If Chloe shot her right now, Orange would die. But do you really want to do it? And yet, she couldn't bring herself to pull the trigger. Orange spoke as if reading her mind. Oh. You're not going to shoot? Well, you might, but whether Orange will answer them is another is another question, and also, she might shoot you. She made up this excuse for her inability to shoot and glared at Orange. Mm. Well, that's true, but did the com did the um, the organization betray Orange first? Yeah, that's true. Like when Orange and Chloe last spoke before Orange faked her death, um, Chloe wasn't completely persuaded by the beliefs of the organization, but now she clearly is. Chloe felt the blood rise to her head. She's getting heated. How dare she! After letting all those people die, I don't know whether she did. Maybe it's an, maybe it was an ambush. Yeah, so I don't know. Did she let them all die, or was it an, actually an ambush or a trap for Orange? I'd wonder. Maybe she was betrayed. Then she alone was celebrated as a revolutionary hero, even though she made herself disappear. Even I was fooled. Ooh, traitor! Traitor! Mm -hmm. I don't know, you've shown that you can be heartless, or maybe Orange can be heartless, but I don't know. I guess there would be a reason. Told you already. That's true, she bailed herself out because she knew it was a mission that was doomed to fail. But how did the Administration Bureau find out about it? I can't remember. Mm. Mm. Why not? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, you might not get an answer. You might not be able to provide an answer, Orange. Chloe's had enough, I think. Ooh, so she is saying there was a traitor amongst the organization's leaders, but it wasn't Orange. Leaked the plans to the administration bureau. Interesting. <laughs> what? Chloe was caught off guard by this. So, Orange felt there was another traitor in the higher-ups, leaders of the organization, but she couldn't uh, re rebel against the decision to send the people into the mission, and she couldn't allow, and members weren't allowed to leave, so she faked her own death to find a way out. Mm. She didn't give up on the surface, but she gave up on the teachings and beliefs. Mm -hmm. She spoke very quietly. Mm, yeah. It's kind of reminds me like Final Fantasy X. They went against the teachings of Yevon. <laughs> mm. 
that's Orange's goal to get humanity back onto the surface, yes, but you're saying the organization's goal was slightly different? Mm, yeah, she didn't want she didn't want to kill people needlessly. That makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm, okay. So, so as it got bigger, it wanted more power and then stopped believing in getting humanity to the surface and maybe just for their own gains to take over the government and foundation, I see. And do it by any means necessary, no matter the sacrifice, I see. Oof, damn. Chloe will not like that, comparing the organization to the Bureau. Mm, sacrifice the pawns. So you need to bring down the Bureau and the organization to get humanity safely to the surface. Hmm. Oh, damn. Chloe will not accept that. After talking without pause, she finally took a breath. Then she continued, oh, no more. Okay, her explanation kind of barely makes sense. Okay. Wait. Oh no. Yeah, so Chloe believes via the teachings and beliefs of the organization that the surface is is real and there and existing totally fine, perfect. It's not. Orange must have found information to suggest that the surface is not there right now in a livable state. Yep. Yeah, you are priest and then you're known as Chloe, so that's kind of interesting to the teachings. But uh, this this is based on the, the organization's beliefs to so lead to the surface. She's against the organization, so she'll therefore dismiss their beliefs. No? Meeting of priest, so she's interpreted slightly differently. The meeting of priest and black wings will regenerate the surface. Hmm. Chloe was confused, but Orange's soft spoken explanation was strangely convincing. So she's the priest. They believe, well, oh, Orange at one point believed Mickey was the angel with the black wings, but, um, then dismissed it when she got injured, but Chloe believes it, okay? Hmm. The true surface, okay. Orange gazed straight into Chloe's eyes. This was the woman Chloe had admired and hoped to be accepted by for so long. Now she's offering you it, but will you accept or will your beliefs in the organization be too powerful? And you want to be better than her. Chloe had never seen her as a guide. Oh, Chloe had even seen her as a guide. Yeah, this woman also betrayed her and disappeared from her life. But for reasons she couldn't control, I guess. Now she was holding a hand out in friendship. Mm-hmm. Chloe's arm went limp. Just as she slightly lowered her gun, she heard a shout. Uh-oh. God damn it, it's Mickey. Shit, it's Mickey, and Mickey is after freaking Orange. Oh no, this is gonna this is gonna end badly. A small shadow, a small shadowed figure popped into view. It's Mickey. Oh no, and Mickey's gonna shoot Orange. Mickey's gonna shoot Orange. She wants her revenge. Mickey. Chloe thought she had left her far behind. She held a sparkling gun in her hand as she aimed straight at Orange. Don't. Yeah, don't. She's gonna do it. Chloe screamed. But it was too late. She shot Orange. Smoke rose from Mickey's gun as a shot rang through the room. Mickey shot Orange. No. 
Really? You think so? She's going to miss an orange will fire back. Ooh. Orange has more experience with guns, that would make sense. Jumping out of the way, Chloe glanced in Orange's direction. Wait, jumping out of the way? What, Chloe jumped out of the way? Or Orange jumped out of the way? Okay. As she expected, Mickey's shot had missed. She's Orange is going to retaliate, surely. But Orange's eyes were as wide as if she had been shot. Then Chloe heard her softly murmur. Yeah, so now they're saying that they remember each other. Mickey. Hmm? Yeah, Chloe doesn't realize that they, these two know each other already. Did Orange just say Mickey's name? Yes, she did. But there was no time to confirm this. Orange froze for only a second. And then she shot her gun. Oh, no. She's not going to do it. Chloe quickly pushed Mickey out of the way. Oh crap, come with me, hurry. With that, Chloe shot her orange too. This time there was no time for hesitation. But orange didn't fall. Did she get shot though? No, she dodged. She gracefully dodged the bullet and jumped into the nearby shadows. Following Mickey's leap, Chloe shot again. Then orange shot back. Before long, it turned into a shootout. Oh, bollocks. Mickey, this could have ended differently. Uh oh. Chloe too slid into the shadows and shouted to her companion. It's not going to end well, is it, Chloe? Mickey reached towards Chloe, inches away from the shadows herself. But then her body dramatically bent backwards. She's been shot. Yeah, or Orange successfully shot Mickey, I think. Blood sprayed into the air. Mickey! Yeah, judging by Chloe's reaction, Mickey's been hit. Chloe reflexively jumped out of the shadows and shot at Orange. Almost simultaneously, she grabbed Mickey before she fell and jumped back into the shadows. So it didn't say it. It didn't say that Orange was was hit by Chloe. So I'm assuming that Orange is still fine. But now, obviously, Mickey's been shot by Orange, and she's had it. There's no way she's going to survive that. I don't think. Mickey. Mickey's eyes were only half open. It's your story, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Me. Mm-hmm. She was already involved as soon as she realized Orange was gonna be around, maybe. The bullet had hit Mickey in the stomach just like Asana. It's not going to happen. But Mickey stopped her. What happened to her? Yeah, that's all Mickey's wanted. She's only ever wanted her revenge against Orange. Otherwise, she couldn't really care less, I don't think. Ever since Chloe's last shot, there had been no return fire from Orange. Oh, did she hit her? I wonder if Chloe's lying. I got her pretty good. She's probably seriously wounded. <laughs> Mickey's like, take that bitch out. I don't care what happens to me. Hmm? Kill her. Oh, boy. What? Chloe stared at Mickey in shock. Even though she was on the brink of death, Mickey's eyes were full of fire. Is Mickey going to tell you... Uh, before it's, she dies, it was a fire that burned black. Mm. You, now you're going to have more questions for Orange, Chloe. That's what I came here to do. Still looking at her in shock, Chloe asked. Why, why do you hate her so much? She's the one who killed my parents. What? Mm. She stole my legs. Your legs? You never know about this injury. She glanced at Mickey's unharmed legs and felt confused. 
Was Mickey hallucinating from the blood loss? No, it's just things about her you don't know. At this rate, as if Mickey sensed Chloe's panic, she exclaimed. Oh damn it, Mickey wants confirmation that Orange is dead before she dies. Damn. But Chloe won't be able to do it, I don't think, Mickey. No. As if reacting to Mickey's scream, Chloe jumped to her feet and ran toward Orange. You better, have, you'll have some more questions for her, I guess. She found traces of blood where Orange had been hiding. So she did hit her. She had left a faint trail that continued farther into the shadows. All she had to do was follow this trail. <laughs> yes, but I'd imagine Orange is going to be prepared. It was a strange feeling. I just keep following your trail. After a while, Chloe found herself in front of a door. Trail of blood leads through the door. Oh, God. What the hell? More puzzles? The password is displayed here. No, it isn't. Uh, wait a minute. I can't exit. What? I can't exit. So... Am I just to figure out the password? Because there's no option to leave, so I'm assuming that this is it. I got it. Um. P. R. I. It works, but it looks like some keys don't light up. Oh. Clear. So R's correct, I guess. G. O. Project. I think. Is there a P? Uh, it must be. Yeah, P. Oh no, P's not. P's not. Uh, can I backspace one? Error. Damn it. R J O C Come on, right. Clearly error. Something something's not right. Oh, there must be a hint. You've got to help me the password. After touching a few panels, it looks like some will light up and some won't. Try lighting up all the ones you can can and see if a hint pops up. Right, so I need to so just light them all up, the ones that I can, light them up and see if something comes. So I've lit up all the ones that can be lit up. So after touching a few panels, it looks like some will light up and some won't. Try lighting up all the ones you can and see if a hint pops up. A hint pops up. So is it a hint from the ones that are lit or the hint from the ones that aren't lit? No. Right, so that's all the symbols 
that could, we could possibly light up. So it says there should be a hint. It's uh, I don't see anything obvious in the letters. Wait, that's that's an E. Oh, right. So so there's letters and numbers and symbols. That that could be seven. Eight four e seven eight four e. That must be the password. Seven eight four uh, e, and then just enter. I guess. <gasps> yes, uh, got it. Unlock the door. It was unlocked. She gripped her gun. Then she ran into the room. Here we go. But there was no ambush. Oh my god. She was expecting Mickey, but it's actually Chloe. What's you? A deep, quiet voice came from the shadows. Chloe strained her eyes and saw Orange crouch near the wall. Damn. Where did the sh she's bleeding from the mouth? So she's she got shot somewhere. Yeah, she's bleeding out. She, Orange ain't gonna make it. Don't worry, I can't hold a gun anymore. There was a pool of blood on the floor. Hmm. Chloe walked silently to Orange's side. I didn't expect you... Oops, sorry. I didn't expect you to be with Miki. Mm-hmm. Yes. Seen them too, the black wings. Her wings. Yeah, so both of them have seen their wings. When Chloe nodded in silence, Orange chuckled. So she's saying that they're not she's not the angel with the black wings by the sound of things. I had the same thought as you, but they are not what you think they are. What? They might be They might be wings, but they are not the key we are looking for. They are not a guarantee to the surface. So you've found maybe an angel with wings, but not... Or someone with wings, but not the one you need. So they, they mean a figurative angel. I think, but let's see, what do you mean? A slight anxiety came over Chloe. The one with black wings, the key to unlocking the way to the surface. Orange recited in a sing-song voice. Oh, here we go, this song again. <sighs> she gazed at Chloe with fading strength, she's dying. The key is the key, the wings are the omen. Hmm. This key is what is needed to go to the surface, not the angel with wings, I guess. <laughs> Get to the point, I know you're dying and Mickey's dying. Icon. Yep, yeah, Icon. Yeah, and now you're gonna realize, well, you never found Icon. But it's to do with Itka, isn't it? A familiar word came out of Orange's mouth. Chloe had a bad feeling, yes. Noticing the recognition that flashed through Chloe's eyes, Orange smiled. Yes, I think she did actually, yes. Yeah, Itka. Icon, icon is the key, and you've killed her. <laughs> yep, you've f***ed yourself, Chloe. It's her, the girl the administration bureau created and experimented on, Itka. 
いとかか。か。It was if it was as if a bucket of ice water had been dumped on Chloe's head. She trembled. Yep, you killed your key. いつかは私が。Yes, you did. And if Orange hears you say that. Yeah, Orange didn't seem to notice Chloe's panic. The life was almost completely drained from her eyes. Yeah, about that. There's a slight problem with that possibility, Orange.、Um, Chloe killed her. She's gonna die. To the surface for her. Oh, now she, re- now she recognizes Orange as the true Chloe because she figured it out. Itka is needed to re- bo- rebirth the surface or to re-、um, regenerate the surface. With that, Orange, the true Chloe, breathed her last breath. Now, Chloe, or Priest, was left alone in the unfamiliar room. Yeah, is she going to go back to Mickey? Is Mickey still alive? Yep, you have truly ruined yourself. You've ruined your own chances of getting your own goals. Why is this happening? She wrenched out a raspy voice. Yeah, the despair of realizing she's ruined it for herself and it's her own fault of just not being able to get to the surface. She destroyed her own goal. Now that Orange was truly dead, it suddenly became as clear as day. I never hated her. You're upset that she's dead as well, yeah. I never hated her. I just wanted her to accept me, and as she did at the end, but she, now she's dead. Orange's very existence had been a guidepost for her. Yeah, she guided you the whole way. She was a mentor the whole way, and you never noticed it. And you're upset about it. She screamed the name of her guide all alone. She's gone back to Mickey. Chloe gently shook Mickey's still warm body. She's maybe still alive. Her big eyes slowly opened. Still conscious. Where is she? Chloe answered simply. Killed her. Kind of, yeah. Now Mickey can die happy, I guess. A, re- a relieved look spread across Mickey's face. She let out a faint, trembling sigh. She's getting very weak. Yeah, she's not going to live. At this rate, she won't last long. To where? She picked Mickey up and helped her to her feet. Yeah, exactly. Or is, is she going to take Mickey to the surface just so they can see what it's like? Because she now knows that she can't regenerate it. Because、uh, before the gunfight, Chloe was going to go with Orange, I think, to see the true surface. Where? Oh. Oh dear. We're going to sleep together. Oh no. As Chloe realized there's no hope,、uh, Chloe wasn't sure how much time had passed. She wasn't even sure where and how she walked to get there. She couldn't remember where she heading to, she couldn't remember. All she knew was that she wanted to sleep for eternity. Oh no, she's, she's gonna put herself in cold sleep. Or either put herself in cold sleep or kill herself. All she, all she knew was that she wanted to sleep for eternity. With that sole thought in mind, she reached her final destination. God damn it, she's come back to the, co- they've come back to the cold sleep pods. Is this, is this the same cold sleep pods where Olga died? Because on this route, yeah, on this route, Olga died in a cold sleep pod. Here we're here, you must be tired. She gently put down Mickey, who had long passed. So Mickey's dead already. 
she gently put down Mickey Hood, long passed away. Then she opened one of the coffin-like cold sleep machines. The machine next to it was already running. Oh, God, they have come back to this. So Olga was sleeping inside, so Olga's still dead in that pod, and Mickey's dead. And I'm assuming she's going to put Mickey inside one of the pods and then put herself in the pod. God damn it. Sorry to keep you waiting, Olga. <sighs> this isn't everyone, but we're finally here to join you. Yeah, uh, sadly, Asuna is not here and uh, Itka is not here. She gently placed Mickey's corpse into the machine as she whispered to Olga. She set the timer to indefinite and closed the lid. Holy crap. dead already, but no. After a short goodbye, she moved on to the next machine. Yeah, because I'm trying to remember, so Ars on this playthrough, Arsenal was killed by Mickey, so Arsenal's body is uh, still in the drainage area, and Ika uh, was killed near the computer, so she's st her body's still lying somewhere else as well. She turned it, so yeah, there's no point in going back for them. She turned it on and opened the lid. She braced herself with a sigh and gazed at the inside of the machine. Um, well, you said you wanted to sleep for eternity, so that's indefinite, isn't it? How long should I sleep for? After thinking for a moment, she whispered to herself again. I guess it doesn't matter if I'm going to sleep for eternity. Oh my god. She set it to... She set it to the amount of time as the grave number Orange had. Uh, I'm assuming that'll be in hours. Or maybe that, I think it's in hours. Jesus Christ, I don't know how long that is, but she set it to the same number as the grave number. So that's her burial number. That's Chloe's burial number. Holy shit. She pressed these numbers on the control panel and lay down. Then she covered herself with the lid. The third cold sleep machine whirred as it started to function. Time had stopped for the three girls as they crossed through this eternal moment. They did not even dream of the day they would awake. They're never gonna wake up. <sighs> Holy crap. That is another messed up ending. And Chloe faced ultimate despair, realizing that the only way to bring back the surface she'd destroyed by killing Itka. And Mickey died from blood loss from the gunshot, and then obviously Orange died just because they had a fight with a gunfight. Uh, and she managed to tell Chloe at the last moments how to revive the surface, but the, she realized she can't because she'd already destroyed the key. So best next best option. She didn't want to, sh I guess she didn't want to shoot herself or anything like that, so sleep forever. God. God, all the tr the final ends or true ends for the girls' individual characters' timelines, it's all so freaking sad. Well, hopefully, guys, this last end will be better, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All right, there we go. Achievement unlocked, faded. Ooh, save current data. Yes. Yeah. All right then. So as you can see, guys, on the timeline at this point, I've done Mickey's final end, Arsenal's final end, Olga's final end, and Chloe's final end. So. According to the timeline, there should be one more chapter involving Eatka, which is beyond zero. So there must be another scenario that maybe leads to something better than what we've seen so far, guys. But I'm going to leave that for another episode because this episode has gone on way too long. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, please let me know down in the comments below by just give, letting me know what your thoughts are on the story so far. If you enjoyed the video and just how did I do, uh, just please don't post any spoilers for the true end, guys, because that's the only part we haven't seen, I think. Um, I don't want to be spoiled, and I'm sure anyone else watching the series doesn't want to be, spo be spoiled beforehand. 
Um, so yeah, and also guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a massive like and also hit the subscribe button, guys, if you like my content on the channel and you want to see more and it'll keep you up to date with all notifications via the bell so you get to see when new videos go up and anything else happening. So yeah, we will finish off Abyss of the Sacrifice in the next episode, guys. I believe next episode will be the last one because there's only one more end to get. So I'll get to that soon enough, guys. So wait and see. Stay tuned. So thanks very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.